Well, well, well. It seems as if the saying that if something seems too good to be true, it most likely is, has come around to rear its ugly head in issues related to Turkey Alashik and the endless fund of money he has for fights like Canelo Alvarez and Terrence Crawford. As we now may see, the real reason why he's getting tight with them pockets and it may have something to do with him not having as much money as he used to, specifically for events taking place in the United States as a report comes out that the Saudi Wealth Fund brings era of easy money to an end, speaking specifically of the PIF fund that has been financing the public investment fund that has been financing Saudi Arabia's Saudi Arabia's foray into American boxing. Let's talk about that and what it will mean or could mean in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. Ain't no need to mess around. Let's get right to it. News article from the Financial Times entitled Saudi Wealth Fund Brings Era of Easy Money to an End. Once considered a cash cow by deal makers, PIF has slowed spending on global investments, bankers say. For much of the past decade, Saudi Arabia has been a major draw for dealmakers, bankers, and asset managers seeking capital as its ambition, ambitious sovereign wealth fund went on a multi-billion dollar global spending spree. But as the kingdom reassesses its priorities and the $925 billion public investment fund shifts focus to huge domestic commitments. The era of Saudi Arabia being perceived as a source of easy money is drawing to a close. It's the ending, said senior Dubai-based investment banker, a senior Dubai-based investment banker. People are realizing it. So what does this mean? Without going through the whole article, let me summarize. Turkey al and the money that he is spending on the rehab season for boxing, like the money that he lost paying Terrence Crawford for the fight with Israel Madmarov. The fights taking place outside of Saudi Arabia could no longer have the money available to them because the Saudi government is saying, look, we're not going to keep investing in projects that are outside of Saudi Arabia. We want the money to be spent inside Saudi Arabia. And if we give you a contract, we're going to want you to reinvest a portion of that contract, that money that we give you back into Saudi Arabia. Now, as far as it relates to boxing itself, in Saudi Arabia, it seems like it's in a nice spot because the article specifically says that the fund will continue to look to get into new industries dom domestically. Specifically, it mentions sports. That sounds exactly like Turkey al area, but within Saudi Arabia. So what does that mean for American fighters? It means that over time, what you're probably going to see is that in order to get that money, you're going to have to go to Saudi Arabia and take all the risks that come with going to Saudi Arabia for the fight. However, if people are expecting to grow their brands in the United States, if they are expecting to get the big payday, the big event like a Canelo Alvarez fight in the United States or 
a fight with Ter- uh, with Terrence Crawford in the United States or some big fight with Gervonta Davis and Shakur Stevenson in the United States. It seems like the trend <laughs> is as far as the spending for the public uh, investment fund against that. And they're going to have to go over to Saudi Arabia. Now, at a certain point in time, and here let's get a little bit more technical here. One of the reasons that is that is speculated for this change is monetary because the Saudi Arabian government made a lot of money when the prices of oil went through the roof, when uh, Russia uh, invaded Ukraine and all of that started taking place in early 2021. How in 2020 now? There's a problem that is taking place now there in the United States. There is a fund that is traded off the the PIF fund. If I don't use the right words, uh, phrasing, please excuse me. But it reflects the value of the PIF fund. And in the United States, the value of that particular instrument was thirty five billion dollars at the end of twenty twenty three. But by March of 2024, it had the value had dipped from 35 million all the way down to 20.5 million. And then eventually, according to reports, stabilized at 20.6 million. That is a 15 billion, excuse me. That is a 15 billion dollar dip. Uh, People have always said that the money from Saudi Arabia is going to be there, is going to be there. They got all kind of money. They don't care what they're spending money on. Well, now I see why it was that people were so gleeful about it, because that is what they were doing for the last decade or so. Spending money, investing in foreign investments. But now they're bringing the money back home and looking forward. And what it means for the sport of boxing is that that is not a long term solution fights. It's not helping the United boxing in the United States. If all of the fights that Turkey al is making is in Saudi Arabia, because there's not enough dates in Saudi Arabia to take it to in order to in order to really have, you know, a full year of boxing. And certain people are. And then you got to worry about the crowds, boxing fans. There's a large amount of people that like to go to boxing matches in the United States. You also have Las Vegas that is paying for fights and and attracting uh, people into that particular city where they're making a lot of money off gambling. Uh, This whole thing about Turkey taking over. I don't know, man. It seems kind of like. People need to make sure that they cross their I's and dot their T's and don't jump out there doing anything too crazy with long term deals and the such. But that's my take. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.